back. So we can we can talk about confidence and then go in. So if the recording is on. Okay, this is the last session of the board. So we talked about confidence and then we didn't record an an action based on the conversation. I think. Right. Okay. So. What I remember of the conversation was Where, that, is uh, there someone subscribing? Yes, we should subscribe. Someone should subscribe. Someone should subscribe. Very good. And it works. And it works. Someone should. So, so what I remember of the conversation was that uh, it made sense to try to make the document into a vocabulary of uh, things that that could characterize words that could characterize uh, uh, the content of a of a track mm -hmm. and then a section per spec per relevant spec saying yes how the, this particular either must or should or may be interpreted by that right. that recommendation by, by that particular uh, the in, by implementations of that particular specification cool. so if if that's uh, if that seems like an adequate resolution i think the bonus is on me to actually deliver a new draft mm -hmm. and if uh, if everyone's happy, happy for me to ha happy for it to go to go that way, then I think we can close that discussion. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a provisional approach. That's and so sort of close discussion uh, mm -hmm. by adding must and should and by and add, adding act, action on how to rewrite the draft and, and based based on yeah, based on the ideas presented at the meeting. <laughs> and, and also clarify things like track clone, and I think that, or is that also for spec? I guess that's for spec. Uh, I, I think that's, I, I think track clone needs to specify that it, co it copies all attributes. Yeah. And if it doesn't, then that's, yeah. like, that's a step yeah. So if, if people add new attributes to the track, then they need to be copied. I guess by default, yes, they need to kind of override the thing directly if they want. Okay. So, and then also maybe general guidance, unless you're going to cover every spec, maybe some general guidance for future specs. Yeah. I would expect that the first iteration would be to, to specify here. Here's how you should do it when encoding for a pay connection. <laughs> then we can switch to saying, what's the some wrap up the next steps. Well, when you say encoding for pure I mean, it, um, it would be for specs per source, right? There would be, any capture would specify anything from uh, our camera or, or is it per sync? It's per sync, I think it's per sync. Yeah. My mold is close. Okay. So, wrap up next steps. Let's see, look at the and see what mm. we have. Okay. So yesterday, what's yesterday? So morning we did the okay. what? <coughs> well, I'm told that uh, oh, yeah. what was it? Google something can tell me the oh, Google Lens. Yeah, Google Lens. 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 So, 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 I know you keep it still on. What? I have the name in Swedish. Okay. Google Translate then. Uh, Who's Black Valley, the whistling duck. Oh, okay. Thank you. That makes sense. Oh, that was it. All right. So your slide is just this. I understand. Uh, describing question and I'm describing uh, one, should I describe this? And two, are, uh, do we need describing for more than 10 minutes? Because I, I have a meeting. I think, I think we can uh, finish.
I think we should aim, aim to finish it. Aim to, let's aim. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have more than 10 minutes. So, <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. so we have minutes with some action items. We're slogging forward, trying to finish off the PR thing. We have a number of, docu of documents that need to go to a wide review because we haven't done it yet, including tag review. And uh, in particular with the recording, we have a, a dire need for someone to actually do the shepherding. Volunteers will be appreciated. So we have gone through features at risk. And uh, at the moment, the proposal in front of the group is to, is to take all the features at risk, and uh, which are currently marked in the document, and delete them before going to PR. Except for my framework. Except for my framework. Yeah. 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 yeah, so. Match frame rate and RTC error were, were the two things that are kind of dubious, but yeah, we, we really don't want to get it on. For RTC error, we came to consensus or we need for discussion basically, I guess, of course. Yeah, right. Any more on the RTC error? RTC error is not marked as feature at risk at all. They should. Well, they should, we should have, have one implementation. Yeah. We should mark it as risk. It's not going to be for now. <laughs> yeah, the reason, the reason for uh, given for not marking it as risk is, is that uh, it's then hard to untangle it from the spec. Yeah. It might create more work. Right? Oh, that's fine. Well, if, if, if we say mark, mark it as risk, it's uh, like a two lines. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. yeah, part of the problem is one of the things that was identified as something blocking CR was the fact we didn't have enough error uh, handling, which is why we had it created. So actually, it, it actually could create more problems to remove it because then people would say, hey, you didn't actually meet your criteria for it. Yeah. So we're going to do something. Um, yeah, well, to decide that it's something is. <laughs> In fact, that's something may not be completely implemented. I mean, it needs more discussion. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't have a discussion for the CR. Just the implementation. And uh, where are we? So, identity. What do we conclude on identity? So, we want to move the bits to be correct. Yeah, so, we, so, we want to say to have. Not have a normative dependency on uh, from where we're getting to identity, yeah. and we we know the lack of problems. Yeah, and we I think, I think we said like we modify stuff if identity right. then no, no, but then 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 we need to implementation of the if so so it's so it's more it's more yeah like maybe the idea was adding hooks yeah and hooks that are like in, uh, at, in like so it's it's a, it's a hook saying. I mean, that in that state, and I'm calling something that is whatever. And I don't expect we say when in that particular for that callback, I'm doing that. Like, I, I call a NOAA function that, that has a. Yeah, and by default, it's, it's a NOAA function. Yeah, over right. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Didn't we also talk about the fact that uh, one of the problems with yeah, identity right. was uh, hooked into the. Uh, other aspects of um, isolation, right? Yeah. We need to. What do we need to do for that? I guess since there's one implementation of isolated strings, 
Um, yeah, there are more. No, the issue is uh, that the, the term isolation properties uh, are broadly covered both pure identity and cross origin content. So, meteor coder, uh, both the work GPC and meteor coder have languages that must not uh, record, for instance, if, if there's cross origin, if there's isolated properties, meaning uh, cross origin content. Mostly in all browsers, identity also identity. Then we talk about we need, we need two implementation when it's not. Then we talk about when, moving isolation yeah, to the GCC. Yeah, we have move that. We grab right. that out of identity yeah. and into yeah. yeah. uh, maybe yeah. you oh. or everything trade on. Hmm? Everything trade on. No, I mean uh, we have to move the isolation properties out of the uh, out, out of uh, yeah out of identity. <laughs> Because yeah. it's being referred to, to when we're talking about cross origin content. So we need to move it to media capture. Um, and there's, um, there's the media stream track isolated attribute. Right. We need to do that. We need to do that. No implementation so well. So we need to do that risk. Right. We should put it in the capture. So that would stay in the identity spec. We just need to fix up the uh, media point of what we see refers to it. Um, but it, it, where does he have uh, already a sentence that probably describes the problem, and then it also says C identity. We could probably just remove the C identity because it's already outlined, so the must not send cross origin mm -hmm. content. Maybe, and if it's a must, then. But some definition of isolation properties would be nice to have somewhere that includes cross origin content there. because we refer to isolation properties in, the, in many places. Okay. So I could try to put something in media capture. So it's an action item on your new to sort out sort out the yeah, isolation group. Yeah. Okay. I still believe that we can get uh, about to see one point of the PR. Show issues that got solved, including adventure stats issues. We talked to clean issues and more or less, more or less got to agreement with them. We discussed peer to peer and we did not come to a conclusion on whether this was something we wanted to add to the web. But say I spec on that, right. So that's um, uh, further discussion. Well, the uh, whole DHT, you know, Peter did oh, the, the yeah. thing required pretty much. What the text I see? Yeah. Or whether forking is, you know. I think the question was whether the use case itself, whether it was, whether it was only connected to the DHT use case, or whether there were other ones that would be motivated. My, my, my understanding is there. Uh, we just expect that we want high transport, and there's addition to his tech. Right. That we might add later on. So let's let's work first on Python sport thing, and for reporting it can come later on. That's either an extension stack or as features with it will be uh we can cover this. We got developer feedback. Consistency was heavily featured. <laughs> And uh, there were people still not happy with the unified transcript, including asking for, for revisiting the idea of sending SSRCs. More cost analysis from that. So I have a piece. So. <coughs> Scalable video coding, keep it simple, please. That is to say, we only support predefined modes. And we have to discuss with privacy issues. The more or less uh, suggest everything. Details in the minutes. 
Yeah, because the, the, the ribbon, so now is now is the time for Kiara, right? Yes. It is not kept to the CSC state. Investigated and documented the real thing of printability of user media. Yeah, that, that sounds complicated. Is this an issue? Which issue? 68. So I don't know what we should, should we do there. I started to the slide uh, with some notes, so maybe uh, we should put Start to have discussions, I guess, there, basically, or what's what's the best way to, to progress there? Yeah. It is for the watch of the time. Remember to see in the use cases, we will split that uh, conference in PR into two so that we can merge the one that we have consensus to merge. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, here I will go back to uh, Mozilla to see if we can make the other one. Yeah, to clarify which one, which one is which. Interesting. Huh? Interesting. case. Yeah, I'm sure that we merge. Yeah, because uh, no, no, everyone seems to agree that this is a this is a use case that we should. That this is a use case that we we, we should want to put it that way. But uh, there seems to be disagreement of whether we should should want to support the use case of of, of, of the trust of the other gift. Okay. And we talk about reshortening. Not too much to say about that. We had we discussed options, we didn't have a clear answer to what we should do. So Dom will come with a proposal, right? I think so. Yeah. We did discuss whether or not we should... Yeah. Well, I don't know if it would make sense to set up a community group thing. Take care, to, to take care of incubating this fancy new work, new ideas. Idea so we'll see. We'll discuss further. That's the end. We think we ran, and then we ran out of time. Ran out of energy. We are tired. So, are we done? Yes. Name that bird. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to the word. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we, we spent a lot of time, but it was useful. A lot of useful time. Yeah. And the next step is. Uh,